Melbourne Water's Eastern Treatment Plant is located in Bang Ho, 30 kilometres southeast of central Melbourne. Built in 1975, the plant treats 40% of Melbourne's sewage. Today's expectations of environmental performance are higher than in the past, and advances in treatment technology mean that we can now treat sewage to a standard that was not previously possible. As a result, we are upgrading the plant from secondary treatment to an advanced form of tertiary treatment. While some of the treated water we now produce is recycled, most of it is pumped out to sea at Bogues Rocks on the Mornington Peninsula. The upgrade to advanced tertiary treatment will virtually eliminate the impacts of treated effluent on the marine environment and open the door to a wider range of water recycling possibilities. When the upgrade is completed at the end of 2012, the Eastern Treatment Plant will be one of the most sophisticated sewage treatment facilities in the world. Currently, treatment involves screening and sedimentation to remove litter, grit and sludge, followed by biological treatment and disinfection with chlorine. Advanced tertiary treatment will see the secondary effluent undergoing filtration, further biological treatment and advanced disinfection using ozone, ultraviolet light and chlorine. By adding this third advanced tertiary stage to the existing treatment process, there will be a significant improvement in treated water quality, including reduced colour, better water clarity and less foam and odour. This improvement will provide noticeable environmental benefits. The big winners will be the local marine environment at Bogues Rocks and swimmers and surfers who will enjoy better conditions at Gunnamatta and St Andrews beaches. Melbourne Water has teamed up with Balderstone, UGL Infrastructure, Black and & Veatch and KBR to form the Eastern Tertiary Alliance to design and build the new tertiary plant. The new tertiary treatment plant occupies an area of about six hectares within the existing Eastern Treatment Plant boundary. The new plant comprises two large chlorine contact basins, UV and ozone disinfection systems, biological filters, a solids handling facility, ozone production and injection buildings, and a tertiary supply pump station. Advanced tertiary treatment is conducted in seven steps. Step one, effluent from the existing secondary stage enters the advanced tertiary treatment plant via a new tertiary supply pump station. The purpose of this pump station is to lift effluent out of the existing holding basins to begin the tertiary treatment process. The first stage of treatment is the addition of ozone to reduce colour and odour and to optimise the rest of the treatment process. The ozone is generated on site using air as an oxygen source. Biological filters are a key part of the tertiary process. They remove oil, grease, foam, litter and solids and helpful bacteria break down organic compounds and reduce ammonia. The biological filters are cleaned using treated water. The dirty backwash water is then processed to separate out the solids, which are then sent to the existing Eastern Treatment Plant sludge digesters. In the fourth step of the tertiary process, the filtered water is again treated with ozone for advanced disinfection. After this, the effluent is exposed to ultraviolet light for further disinfection. Chlorine is added as the third and final disinfection stage. The treated water then enters two large chlorine contact basins and is retained in these basins for at least 30 minutes. Finally, tertiary treated water is transferred to the existing outfall pump station which discharges to the southeast outfall. Some of the treated water from the outfall is recycled and the remainder is discharged to the ocean under EPA Victoria licence. The upgrade will open the door to many more water recycling opportunities. 
The Eastern Treatment Plant currently produces Class C recycled water, which is reused on site and provided to Southeast Water customers for growing crops and flowers and watering golf courses. Some of this Class C water receives further treatment to Class A quality and is used by residential developments. After the upgrade, all of the treated water from the Eastern Treatment Plant will be Class A, enabling more high quality water to be available for a wide range of non-drinking purposes, including toilet flushing, watering sports grounds and irrigating vegetables. Melbourne Water is working with Southeast Water and Southern Rural Water to investigate opportunities for new recycled water projects once the upgrade is complete at the end of 2012. The upgrade of the Eastern Treatment Plant will mean that 40% of Melbourne's sewage will be treated to a much higher standard than has been possible in the past. Traditionally, sewage has been viewed as merely a waste product, but that view is changing. Melbourne already recycles more water across all uses than any other city in Australia. And with improvements in technology, we will soon be utilising recycled water for a far broader range of uses to benefit our community and our environment. For more information, visit melbournewater.com.au or call 131 722.